Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. This week I want to talk to you guys about two graphic novels that I read recently that are just absolutely beautiful in completely different ways and so I kind of just wanted to show them off to people because I feel like we don't talk about graphic novels enough at least on the Book Riot channel. So I'm going to be showing you guys these two. One of them I feel like is slightly more well known than the other. One of them I feel like I've never heard people talking about. I got recommendations for both of these from book rioters. Uh, if you aren't aware we have a book riot comics section on the website and I always love reading the uh, best comics we read this month feature especially because that's basically where I take all of my recommendations from when it comes to reading comics. Um, I'm usually like slightly behind the curve but all those writers are usually right on top of what's been coming out recently and you know they read backlist as well so it's a good way to sort of find out what the really great comics are that have been coming out recently. So anyways on to the comics I read this month. So the first one I'm going to show off is one that I think is good for kids um, maybe not all ages of kids but definitely like older elementary middle school that is Nightlights by Lorena Alvarez but there is a little bit of scariness in this book so I don't want to recommend this book to all ages because I'm sure there are some little kids out there who might get a little bit scared by this graphic novel but this art is amazing like you can already see from the cover and I know that sometimes covers don't accurately represent the art that's inside but in this case it does. It all has a very cool tone to it which is something that I always really like but some of the spreads in here are just amazing like some of it has to do with like dreams and dream sequences and those page spreads are just ridiculous. So in this story you are following this young girl named Sandy um, that's the little girl on the front here. Uh, basically what happens is every night as she is starting to fall asleep uh, these lights appear and she creates these really fantastic like images and stories with these lights until she falls asleep and then the next morning she wakes up and draws out basically all of the things that she imagines or creates. She's a bit of a daydreamer. She doesn't pay like super close attention at school things like that. And then one day there is a new girl at school who takes notice of Sandy and her drawings and wants her to draw things for her but it turns out there's something slightly more happening in there and I don't want to say anything more than that because uh, this is a relatively short graphic novel so there isn't a lot of plot so I don't want to go farther into it than I need to. But yeah like I said this is just a beautifully beautifully drawn story and graphic novel. If I had any critique it's that this story isn't long enough I would have taken another like 50 pages of this but of course that would have created significantly more work for Lorena Alvarez. This is just beautiful beautiful work in here um, and I feel like it's worth picking up if only to just look at the images and the drawings in here. It's just so visually amazing. I really really loved it and I kind of want to buy my own copy of this now. And then the other one that I recently picked up was 100 Nights of Hero by Isabel Greenberg. Her first book, The Encyclopedia of Early Earth, uh, was really well acclaimed. This is the second book or this is her second book. It isn't like the second book in a series or anything like that. It works as like completely separate uh, graphic novels. Uh, this one is sort of based on the Arabian Nights tale where there is like someone who's falling in love with someone else or someone who wants to marry someone else uh, and in order to sort of get out of certain situations they decide to tell a story every night for 100 nights. So the images in here again are just really fantastic. It's a completely different style than Nightlights. Uh, Nightlights was a lot more detailed, a lot more colorful. Most of the drawings in here are like this neutral tone. A lot of like grays and blacks and whites and blues with like pops of color here and there but it also has like really beautiful spreads as well which again I'm just a big 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 fan of. This is one where I feel like the story is stronger than the art at least personally. I mean the art is great don't get me wrong but I feel like with Nightlights the art is stronger than the story. I feel like in this one the story is stronger than the art. Also it's a little bit longer you get a little bit more detail so if you are someone like me who mostly reads books and just jumps in and out of comics and graphic novels sometimes comics and graphic novels don't feel like enough like I always want more from them uh, and I feel like this is one of those that provides that little bit more that really hooks you as a reader. So if you're someone who might be slightly more hesitant in picking up comics and graphic novels or if you've tried some in the past and you're like oh it always just leaves me slightly unsatisfied because you want more story this one might be a good one to pick up because it's a little bit longer. Um, there's a little bit more detail in here and so I feel like 
it provides more story to people who might want more story. So yeah, those are the two graphic novels that I wanted to highlight in this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know which comics or graphic novels you've been enjoying lately. I feel like I sort of go through periods or like these spurts of like reading a bunch of comics and graphic novels and then I take a break and read other things and then I go back to them and I remember how great they are. So I'm currently in a spurt where I am reading more comics and graphic novels again and I love it. I forget sometimes how much I love these stories and the style of storytelling. So yeah, definitely leave comments down below letting me know if you've read either of these or if you have any other recommendations that you've been enjoying lately, especially if they are ones that I haven't been getting a lot of attention that you know of. But yeah, that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye.